All right, so me and White just got out to the tourmaline crystal spot. There's a, a pegmatite that we're, we're following, I guess. Uh, so pretty much for those of you who are wondering how we go about finding where to dig, etc. After, of course, we look at different maps and figure out the rough location of where we want to go. Like, it's, it's pretty simple, to be honest, for the most part. You pretty much walk around, look at different types of rocks that are laying around on the ground. Is there granite? Is there pegmatite? Are you just running around on a bunch of basalt? Uh, what me and him usually do is look for, I mean, quartz is a pretty big, you know, pretty pretty important one. If there's, if there's good quartz around, it, I, I would say it ups your chances, but you can also literally just have quartz. Yeah, so that's pretty much what we do is walk around, look at what, like especially places like this where, you know, the rocks have a better chance of popping out. What do you, what kind of rock do you got? You know, if, uh, if it looks more pegmatite start walking around, look, see where that pegmatite is going, what's in the pegmatite. Are there big crystals that are mineralizing in the pegmatite? If so, you're in a good spot. Uh, I like to look for muscovite flakes. It's not always going to be a sign of you finding something else, but what I have realized is that most of the time, if you have muscovite that is actually pretty large books of muscovite, it has had time to grow that big. So your chances of other minerals growing that big goes up. One of the first things me and Wyatt noticed when we came out here the first time looking for the spot was these big rocks right here, which let's get a closer look. You have a couple different things going on. Obviously you have this crappy basalt. That's not what we want. We don't want this, but then you come over here and you got this schist with uh, small little garnets in it. Has some neat color to it, but schist is never a terrible thing sometimes. <laughs> And then this one is your pegmatite, right? You got your biotite, you got the white feldspar, that more gray quartz in it. This is a good sign. And you can see obviously there's schist running along it as well, which we found a lot of stuff on the lines between a schist and a pegmatite. So this is a good sign. This is what you wanna look for. And once you find that, you pretty much just keep, keep wandering until you find more and find where something like this came from. Right? Right. <laughs> There's some eggs back here that I've been checking on when we come. I want to see how they're doing. <gasps> They've hatched! The little eggs have hatched. Look at all the little tadpoles. Look at how cute they are. Hi, little buddies. So adorable. <laughs> Heck yeah. So of course, uh, the first time we got up here, there were spots where other people had been digging, been digging. See some right there. Now, of course, if you're looking for stuff and somebody's already been digging, check it out. That's obviously a sign. Again, you can see a bunch of different chunks of yeah, pegmatite. Uh, there's. Check this one out. This is a big old pegmatite chunk. And if you look closely, besides, you know, the obvious feldspar and quartz and what have you, there's little black chunks of black tourmaline, which is phenomenal. But we have already checked this spot out. Uh, and it, a lot of what I was dealing with is this clay mixture with also a uh, rounded gravels and junk which is never a good sign if all the rocks you're pulling out seem to be rounded most of your stuff that you're going to find is probably going to be broken anyway so it's not worth digging unless you're like a agate person or whatever keep following the trail there's a piece you can kind of see some rock up here so let's go take a look at that oh some more black tourmaline on it This is actually another spot that uh, somebody dug a little bit and so I went and did more digging in their spot. Yeah, you can start to tell that uh, the muscovite is getting larger. There's black tourmaline. 
inside of this pegmatite junk. Yeah, you can definitely see those Muscovite books are getting larger and what have yous. And there's the other spot, definitely digging in kind of a pegmatite there. And here's some stuff that I pulled out last time. See the black tourmaline little crystal right there. You know, little, little chunks of it, but this spot was just too hard to find actual crystals. There's a nice little side to one. Yep, yeah, but after this spot and doing a little bit of looking around, I decided to venture up, which is where we will be heading. Ugh. Yeah, if you look, you can kind of see right in here in this solid rock. There's some black right here where the tourmaline is, kind of running in and out of the pegmatite that's going this way. All right, onward to the next spot. We are to the hole. As you can tell, it's been dug in by others. Um, we did a couple holes here. This one I'm cleaning out, and that's where I've been finding some of the better tourmalines and a, a handful of little crystal points, nothing crazy, but I also have just been going in the loose topsoil. So today I'm gonna clean it out, try to figure out where the heck it is exactly coming from down low, and hopefully we can find the big ones. Dirty, but got a little crystal point there. Here's a, so that's what it looks like right now. Just give it just enough clean. Look at how smoky that is. Definitely a little beaten up. Got some black tourmaline rolling around in there, but a little crystal point. Oh, yeah, that side's covered in black tourmaline. Yeah, I was, uh, Digging around here, I actually dug around this whole thing. Definitely some big uh, Muscovite books there. Pretty nice, and then I just pulled this one out. Little quartz crystal. Would you look at that? You know what that means? Time to dig. <laughs> just pulled this bad man, ouch, bad man gem out. That is a good tourmaline. So, got a little bag of some stuff. Some of those little quartz and tourmaline. We're going to come back here with some shovels and some sifters and put in some actual work because we weren't planning for that. Nope, not at all. <laughs> yep. Yep. Pretty. All right, now to drive a couple hours to get home. Yeah. Through here, just pulled that sucker out. There we go. Yeah, look at that. Black tourmaline. There we go. Got myself a crystal. Finally, finally a fucking quartz point. <laughs> <laughs> Got my friend Bailey up there. I meant to like stomp it, but it like went too quick. <laughs> All right. Good job. Thanks more of the rock if you look here i got this right here i can't tell if it has a striation so i'm not sure if it's tourmaline or quartz then this seems to be some quartz i don't know if it'll be crystallized right here we got some black tourmaline so i am going to try to work some of this out hopefully this clay will protect some of the stuff for me 
right, let's see what we can do. Oh, there we go. Ooh, it's going to come off the rock. Oh, be careful. That's going to look nice cleaned up. Looks like most of this right here has the terminations. I think some of this does. That side's unfortunately broken. But, oh, baby, look at that. Heck yeah. I'm not gonna clean it off. I'll show you at the end of the video it cleaned off because uh, I wanna make sure to be very careful with this so it doesn't fall apart any more than it already has. Woo!